Hi everyone, I'm Steve DiPaolo and as you can see I'm in a virtual world and as, as you can see by what's on any wall it's actually uh, Jeremy, Dr. Jeremy Turner's COGS 100 class. So this is really an alternative to, to Zoom and other ways of teaching. Let me just show you what I look like so I'm going to just turn the camera to myself. So I've come in with a desktop but I still lip sync and have gesture as you can see but I'm going to turn back again and show you um, that Jeremy, uh, the teacher, is in full VR mode. So let's look at him for a second. Um, so he's in full mocap mode, and that's not like a full expensive mocap suit. He's simply just in a headset and, um, and controllers. So hi, Jeremy. This is your class, right? Hi, Steve. Yes, this is indeed COGS 100. Welcome to Tivoli Hall in Tivoli Cloud VR. Great, and as you can see, um, um, and I'll maybe just move closer to Jeremy, um, uh, on the wall, we could have anything. So this is the amazing thing. Um, uh, so he's Jeremy can see his lecture behind him. The students would be looking at the lecture in front of him, and he actually even has it on the podium, and it's fully controllable. This is not, these aren't just images, these are, these are the full thing, and he's changing slides as we speak. Um, and then, so this is a live class. In fact, we're just a few minutes just getting ready before it. everyone comes in, just like they would come into a lecture hall. So um, we have PhD student uh, Mihe, who's who's helping to control everything. Um, how is the class going so far, Mihe? Oh, it's going great. Yeah, uh, students are really loving it. You know, we did a poll between Zoom and Tivoli, and 69% of the students um, voted for Tivoli. So we are very happy. We're continuing. So what I'm looking behind you is they can they can simply text chat and uh, and that's literally like a big projector on the wall. There's the this that full movie that I'm showing, and that means that people can come in and you can see me and Jeremy and me hey right there. Um, so that's. Um, Mackie's here, who, who's who's a camera, so we have a camera person, and that's going live out using Twitch, which is a, a, a very stable gaming technology to video stream everybody. And so it doesn't matter, they could come in fully in mocap like Jeremy, or just desktop mode like me, but still with a gaming computer, and they can sit here for real, although this is not a very technical a group of people in this class so they equally could be on their phones and looking at that twitch stream and then texting to jeremy as well as everything else so this is uh, uh jeremy and i are at simon fraser university and we're we're testing this out as the kind of the future of 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 teaching and it has so many benefits um including being able to kind of it's just engaging and jeremy when he when he lectures he could point to the screen he he he, he could usually use uh, hand gestures for like making lists or anything he wants to um and it's and people can sit next to each other people can do eye contact all the things you can't so what is this well this is tivoli cloud vr um, a, a great world that has many, many state-of-the-art features. So it turns out, luckily, we have one of the co-founders here, Caitlin. Caitlin, can you tell us about this world? Sure. Well, um, Tivoli is a multi-user virtual reality platform. It's next generation, meaning it's more than just a VR chat space or just a presentation space, but a fully interactive, physics-enabled, distributed, um, multi-user virtual reality environment with, you know, it's it's designed to capture all of the subtlety um, of spoken and um, body communication. So you can see that we get full gesturing and I feel like I'm just in a group of people and I'm turning to them and interviewing them. And that's why it's so different than, than Zoom or something like that. Um, the other great thing about Tivoli is it's, besides that it's, you can get, you know, thousands of people that it's persistent that everyone's looking at things and it's happening at the same time. Um, it's also quite programmable. So what Jeremy and I with Tivoli are thinking about um, in the future of this is, well, if he's talking about in COGS 100 about the human brain, uh, a human brain would show up. And uh, Caitlin and the, and the great folks here literally have it set up where, with voice control. So when Jeremy brings up a particular word of a part of the brain that could light up and that brain could be passed around. So imagine what is teaching anyway, but a, that you're trying to 
engage people in a story about learning. And, 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 you know, if you're in an ugly room with bad lighting, wouldn't it be nice if you could just change the lighting? Well, here you can change every single thing to tell your story. So I'm thinking about a grad class that I think a lecture hall with Jeremy is nice, but I think it would be better to have a table uh, or being outside or being, you know, up on the top of a mountain, you know, with, with a Maya Mayan plaza that just really helps intellectual thought. So let me just um, move to the back of the classroom where most people will be. And I'll just come up just before class teaches. So this is going to fill up very soon. So we're just going to finish off. And we're looking then again and seeing. So Jeremy, what, what are your other experiences? You were saying something that you've taught this class a number of times. And then in fact, it feels quite natural to you. Could you talk to that? Yeah, well, it feels really natural uh, for me because I'm inside of a VR headset. So this allows me with my controllers to move my hands quite naturally. And um, also I can walk back and forth throughout the whole class. I can, even, I can even walk in my messy apartment and feel like I'm in a very clean classroom. In fact, I feel like I'm really teaching inside of a real class at Simon Fraser University. Um, the only slight difference is, is that it's a little bit cartoonish compared to the so-called real world, but I actually... Even that's not really a noticeable difference. Once I get lost in the flow of teaching, I really feel like I'm teaching for real life. This is, this is much better than a Zoom or PowerPoint style uh, presentation over video chat. That's amazing. And and we should say this is both uh, uh, research and innovation working with the Tivoli Cloud VR folks, but it's also a literally accredited university class uh, and and again they're here they're getting graded they're working through it they're engaged they were asked halfway as Mihai mentioned they were asked halfway through whether they want to continue and, and they voted overwhelmingly to do so so this gives you a little bit of sense of of what what we believe the future is working with our partners Tivoli Cloud VR and that's at and and Jeremy Turner and I at Simon Fraser University and again this is only the beginning it's nice that we've made what looks like a classroom but is a classroom the best kind of environment could Jeremy for every single lecture change uh, it to you know if he was teaching a solar system class that you would actually see the solar system in a model live so we're we're now thinking about all these new things we can do with Tiffily so thanks everybody um, bye thank you Steve bye. thank you bye thank you very much bye.